This is a very dynamic exercise which incorporates elements of attacking and defending. The initial phase is a 2v2 with a cross from the wide area and then it immediately transitions into a 3v2 counter attack on the opposite goal. In this video we'll show you how to implement the exercise with your team. The setup looks like this. You can adjust the size of the space based on the age and level of your team, but this example is 40 yards or meters in length. The width is basically the penalty area or 18 yard box. There are two goalkeepers, one at each end. Two attackers shown here go against two defenders towards goal as a wide player delivers the cross. The keeper sends the ball either with their hands or feet towards the side of the penalty area where a player stops it to set the ball for the wide player to cross. The attacking pair try to score from the cross while the defenders attempt to intercept and clear the ball. Immediately after the play breaks down, the goalkeeper throws a ball out to either one of the two attackers or the wide player and it transitions into a quick 3v2 counter-attack. The key here is speed. The counter-attack has to be instant and players should be looking to drive a goal, not hesitate or make multiple sideways passes. Once the play is over, the next group of players set up to go. You can focus on attacking down one side of the field, or you can alternate the process and use both sides to attack and deliver crosses, as you see here. Again, the key is to do it with speed and intensity, so that the level matches what you expect of your players in a game. For the 3v2 transition, encourage your players to take advantage of 2v1 situations with overlaps and diagonal runs. It makes sense to implement an offside rule to keep it realistic. The next couple of minutes of this video show different examples of this exercise, so you can familiarise yourself with it. Try implementing it at your next team practice and let us know how it goes in the comments below. 